I went from having this totally carefree life to having this big responsibility now. My name is Jessie Stone. I am a medical doctor and a whitewater kayaker, and I run a nonprofit organization called Soft Power Health. When I first came to Uganda, I was a full-time kayaker, and that was my life. One of my sponsorship opportunities was paddling for wave sport, and Eric Jackson, EJ, was designing boats for wave sport. EJ said, we're gonna do a trip to the Nile. You know, we'd been warned about how bad the malaria problem was here. Sure enough, shortly after we got here, EJ came down with malaria. He's been taking prophylaxis, he's been sleeping under a mosquito net. How did this happen? And if he got it, what about all the local people here? My curiosity was really piqued. I went through the village and made a 50 hut survey. The answers were really stunning because nobody had a mosquito net, not one single person we interviewed. Everyone reported at least one child dying in their households from malaria and everybody wanted more information. And lastly, they all wanted to buy a mosquito net. The community here asked me one day, would you like to build us a clinic? I really knew nothing about it, absolutely nothing about it. Subsequently, I went back to New York, where my parents live, and we raised $25,000. That money was enough to totally build our clinic. We see everything from little teeny tiny babies who have severe malaria to people with advanced cancers, people with severe hypertension or diabetes, you name it. All of a sudden, this need developed in the community for family planning. Uganda has one of the highest birth rates in Africa. We discovered that people really didn't know anything about conception or contraception. Now our family planning outreach is even more popular than the malaria outreach. I mean, people are dying for this information. We have three outreaches every week that go out into the community and educate people about family planning and then actually offer short-term and intermediate-term methods of family planning right then and there in the community. At the moment in time when I came to Uganda, for this kayaking mission, I was also ready for something else to change in my life, you know, to add something to the kayaking, because it had been like full time, nothing but kayaking for a number of years. You know, kayaking has really become much more of my stress reliever, uh, escape, if you will, back into a world of a lot less responsibility than this other responsibility that I've taken on myself with starting Soft Power Health and running the clinic and the outreach programs. People always say to me, oh, so when this part of the river is a lake, you're just gonna move, right? You're gonna leave, you're gonna stop? And I'm like, no. You know, this, this project, we're totally invested in this project and would like it to continue as long as the need is there. I am hopeful about working here because I've seen all the progress that we've made with interventions that we've done this far, which have helped many, many people. I really believe that even if you're helping to make one person's life better, if they can then take care of themselves better, you've made a big difference.